Hey everybody, so um, I finally got around to doing my Auric versus Auric versus Auric versus Auric. Um, I wanted to try out the Halo before I actually did a head-to-head -head video of all of my Auric machines. Um, and this is probably the only video you'll ever find on YouTube with all of these machines um, together. Um, and I know that my video of the Auric Edge is the only Auric Edge video out there, except for one other, which is a Dyson comparison. Um, and it's just like a two minute video. I, uh, there's one other video, the conquer, but it's just a quick clip of cleaning, um, like a small carpet. There was never like a, a test done. Um, the XL 21, believe it or not, there aren't a lot of videos on that either, maybe two or three. And there are no videos on the halo, <laughs> um, <clears throat> except for some moms winning it for free or something like that. And it was just a quick video or something. So, um, anyway, all of these machines, in my eyes, are either successes or failures for the Auric company as a whole. The Conquer is the only machine that is here that was made, and maybe the Edge, um, but I know for sure the Conquer was made under TTI or whatever they call it. Um, but, and I just noticed, all of these machines have a little Auric registered logo. Um, in the corner of the, um, the name, except for the Conquer, it does not have one. And that may be because it's not its own company anymore. So maybe the, um, the Edge was made out of Auric, um, being sold. Um, and also I would say the, the Edge has very disappointing Edge groomers, for being an edge machine, probably because it has a hose built onto it that you don't have to attach, where the Halo does. Um, but all f five, my touch isn't out here because I don't really feel the need to make a video of that. To me, it's not a bagged machine. It's not a direct air machine, so I'm not going to make a video. But um, the Halo was a big um, problem for Auric. They had a lawsuit against them because they made claims on the UV sanitation side that it just couldn't do in a practical amount of time of vacuuming. You'd have to go over the area for several extended seconds or minutes or something like that for it act to actually do what it's supposed to do. Plus, I've read of um, people claiming that it ruined their carpets. The color of the color was or carpet was ruined. But um, the halo... <clears throat> is definitely none, not like any other Auric that they've ever made. The XL21 was a big standout. They widened the tube. I believe they changed the motor possibly on it. Um, it was the introduction of the Auric, um, this style of the handle. They've always had a handle that looks similar to this, but a little bit older fashioned. This one actually combined everything in this cool little C shaper crab claw design. Um, it's the first Auric I ever remember seeing with that design on it, that designed handle. Plus, it performed the best. It had a 21-year warranty. It was the biggest Auric had ever done. Now there's the Forever Series. That Edge is a Forever Series model, but it doesn't have the extended warranty on it anymore. Um, the Conquer is their newest, latest, and greatest. They revamped the filtration on it. They offer new bags. Um, they changed their speed selector. Every machine I just noticed here um, has a different power switch. Um, and it also has a slow start. Something Oryx never done before. I don't believe the Edge has that. Um, it kind of does. But not really. The Edge has a very throaty sound to it as well as the Halo. And the Halo to me... The brush roll power reminds me of the Maytag M1200, so I'm not disappointed in that, and I bet you it probably cleans very close to the M1200, and don't bash me for saying that. I owned one. Most of you haven't, um, but I just was not impressed with the M1200 for the price that I paid, so I took it back, saved 300 bucks, and bought a Mila Twist, um, <clears throat> but the... Uh, Conquer, at the moment, it's probably one of my favorites, um, if not the most favorite. It was the most expensive machine that's sitting here that I've paid for year to date. 
the rest of these machines, um, it would go XL21, then Edge, then Halo. Um, but I guess I should probably just get to the video. I'm going to vacuum on with all of these machines on high. I'll start with the Halo first, and I'm not going to use the UV light. And I have... I'm going to put the carpet selector down to just above low pile um, and see what it does. And here we go. So it left a couple pieces. And I'll do... I'll just leave it one pass, and I'm going to shut off the brush roll. Mm. Okay. So, I did one pass with that. It did leave a decent amount of crap, and maybe if I would have adjusted it a little differently, it probably would have done better. I really don't know. Um... To me, I feel like it was low enough. Um, it got a majority of the miscellaneous skewed pieces around. It only left a couple. I feel like this machine is more kind of like a sanitaire. It really deep down cleans, but it's not the best with um, uh, large pieces. So now for the XL21, I'm going to put it on second speed. And I really like the edge groomers on this thing. It's pretty cool. Picked up everything. So, sorry, I'm, I'm focusing more on what I'm doing rather than the camera, which I shouldn't be. I'm very sorry about that. Um, it did a really great job here. It left nothing behind, which I didn't doubt that it would. Um, it did better than the Halo, but it did leave a couple bits here, and it did not do very good on the hard floor. It actually kicked some underneath, and the Halo side was clean, and it actually kicked some over to the Halo side. So now for the XL20, or the Conquer, sorry. I feel like the Conquer... Conquer may be just a tad louder than the XL21. It also left nothing. And it's got really good agitation. So, it did a really good job, very similar to the XL21. Um, <sighs> sorry, trying to get these situated. Did very similar to the XL21. Um, I'd say it didn't groom as well, but maybe it did. Maybe it's just the angle I'm stand or standing at. Um, they're very similar machines, and I do strongly believe that the XL21 was reincarnated in the Conquer with a swivel design and more up to date. And um, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen another Auric um, produced with the bag saying HEPA C lock um, hypoallergenic. And I don't know if that's just the exterior, ma exterior material because none of their bags feel like that. And now for the ec or the edge, and I have a feeling it's going to be quite stinky. And I'm going to turn it on just for a second and then turn it off. That way it doesn't switch the brush over and be stupid. Not very good agitation. No movement at all. But it picked up pretty good.
it's very hard to put in the upright position. So, I would have to say the best job was either the Edge or the 21. And if you want to go on um, specific specifics, the Edge, I don't know. The Conquer left this little bit right here. The Edge left a couple pieces, but it did the best on the bare floor out of the ones that don't have a brush shot off. The um, Halo did the best on the bare floor, even though there's little bits and pieces. I'd say the worst performer would have probably been the Halo, but for deep down carpet cleaning, I don't really know what to say. Um, the Halo probably did the best carpet cleaning. Auric Edge probably um, did the best on bare floor out of the th other three, or the Conquer and the XL21 and the Edge. The Edge did better on the bare floor. Um, Halo winning it, though. Second place, I guess, is what I'm saying would be Edge. Um, carpet cleaning, probably the Conquer. Second place would be the 21. And the Edge would probably be coming in last. They, um, but very close to the 21. Um, but the Edge actually feels like it does a really good job grooming. It just doesn't have a very fast agitation. It seals down really good. So it does a pretty good job grooming the carpet. Then I'll do the 21, or I mean the, the Conquer. Ooh, thought somebody was here. I hear doors. <laughs> Now, I think that the weight of the edge probably gives it an edge, um, mainly because it puts more weight on the base of the machine. It also has a different motor in it because it's variable, even though it sounds very similar to the rest of the Oryx. The Conquer did a pretty good job grooming also. It just doesn't leave those strange, like, sew lines, like in a field where they're growing corn or something like that because it doesn't have those grooves in the front like the edge does. The edge has these big air channels in the front that the um, the Conquer does not. Um, the 21 did a really good job grooming, too. Um, in my, also, the Edge doesn't have a smell, but I put one of the... F I had from my 21, or not my 21, my, tw my XL Pro Plus. My goodness, I can't stop talking about the stupid 21. Um, the Pro Plus had the best, or uh, it came with a little fragrance tab, and that's what's in that. I'm going to vacuum quick. <laughs> Okay, so I had to do a quick video portion of that because my video's got to be cut short. Ask questions if you'd like. Thank you.